patient come in with one of her longtime friends. She was here for an appointment with Tina and um, patient had some concerns in regards to a personal caregiver that she had that wasn't um, attending to her needs in an appropriate manner and when she was here we were actually able to visualize some of the behaviors that the patient was talking about. Um, the patient, when she was leaving for home after her appointment, her caregiver didn't help her put her jacket on. It was an extremely cold, icy day out. And she was um, on her phone as opposed to being attentive to the patient. She was looking at the advertisements around the office instead of tending to the patient. She was um, not engaging with the patient in a manner that showed us when she was here that in a setting where there is no one watching that she would be providing care to the patient. Um, when they were leaving, uh, Annette and I, the front desk lady, we had a discussion about um, what might be happening on their journey home and Annette suggested that I bet you if you walk outside that aid is not with those with her. So I went out and around the side of the building and I watched them walk home, the aide was nowhere to be seen. So we had two, an 86 and a 91 year old woman walking home alone across a parking lot and there was no one to assist them. Um, they were so close to the building that they were, I watched to make sure that they got into the building safely. Um, but that aide, her, her whole job is to make sure that that woman is safe and she was not. We reported the aid um, within about 20 minutes after they left here. I found the appropriate agencies to speak with. We made sure that um, the care manager was notified. The case, the aid was fired. The aid was removed from the patient's home. Um, and we are currently working with several agencies to make sure that she gets a more appropriate aid in the home, someone who will be there to take care of the patient. Yeah. That's the really nice thing about being down here in Canandaigua. The, the staff, all of us, we know these patients. We know when they're um, having difficulties. They trust us. They tell us things that are going on in their lives. They feel safe here. We love our patients. Um, the, the staff here just absolutely adores what they do. Um, they love the mission for Anthony Jordan, and they, they really live it every day.